Okay, folks, I found a stranded turtle out here at Cosmel. He's bleeding. I'm gonna flip this little baby over. Hello, my name is Steve Booker. Cosmel's a place where my wife and I, we like to go. We've been there several times. We love the water there. There's always an adventure just around every corner. When I saw the sea turtle at first, I thought it was dead. It was just laying there motionless. It wasn't moving. Its neck was all stretched out. It was just totally motionless. Then I noticed, uh, I noticed some eyes, its eyes blinking. And I realized it was not dead. And I, I knew immediately I had to jump in and help. When I initially rolled her over, I could tell that she was injured. I did see a little blood coming out of her nose before I flipped her over. But after I actually flipped her over, I could see a crack in the top of her shell. And I was concerned, thinking, wow, she's, she's injured. I don't know if she's going to be okay or not. But then I seen how she had the, the determination to actually crawl and get to the water. And because of her efforts, I thought, man, she's got a lot of, she has a lot of energy. And she appears to be moving like what I would think another sea turtle would move like. I didn't think her injuries were life-threatening at all. I thought she'd heal up. I'm pretty sure she will. The only reason I know it was a female is because in this area, it was a beach where all the sea turtles, all the females are, are right now this time of year. They're all coming on shore to lay their eggs and they typically come in at night. And I only know this because of what locals were telling me. But they'll come in at night, lay their eggs, and they'll leave out, go back into the ocean before the sun comes up. And I was there at sunrise to, uh, to, to capture a sunrise time lapse with my GoPro. And that's just how I accidentally found her. I normally would have shot, that, shot this whole video on that DSLR, but that particular morning I had some camera difficulties. I stepped outside of my hotel room and the whole camera, the lens, it, it fogged up. Condensation took over. I couldn't do anything about it, so just by luck, I had my trusty old cell phone video camera with me. And I was able to <laughs> I was able to video the whole thing with my cell phone camera. Uh, if I if the other camera was not fogged up, I probably wouldn't have the video. I would have just took still shots. So I kinda got lucky there. I've always, always wanted to see a sea turtle. I never have. The sea turtle that you guys see in the video, it's my, it's my first experience with the sea turtle. Just the day before this happened, I was with a group of people and I was saying, man, I, I just want to see a sea turtle. That's all I want to see. I've seen a lot of other things. I haven't seen a sea turtle. In the beginning, when I first took the video, I thought, you know, what a morning for my wife to sleep in. She missed it. I was kind of going, wow, boy, she, she missed it. And I, I knew I was going to show the video to her, and I knew I was going to put it on Facebook, but how far it would go beyond that, I had no clue. And it's, it's really a surprised me and amazed me on, on the reaction from, from everybody across the world at this point. It, it's been truly an amazing experience. I've chased a lot of sunrises and a lot of sunsets, and I, I don't know if in my lifetime if I'll ever have another experience like this. It's going to be really hard to top that sunrise, that moment, that that moment with Mother Nature watching this the perfect sunrise, even without the turtle. But then the sea turtle added to it. It was just a very special moment. We try to go once a year. We'd like to go more than that, but we, we try to go at least once a year. I can name her, her name would be Lucky. I'd like to see Lucky next year, but we'll just have to wait and see. Cosmel for you, baby, right there.